Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of Master Tasker, the legally distinct from any other task-based show, where four online personalities, who I'm vaguely familiar with, compete in a series of tasks that are cooked up and presented to them like gruel in an orphanage full of approval-hungry children, all in the pursuit of winning this ceramic trophy of my beard, the greatest beard to ever grace the face of man. I am Tom Clark, I am the Master Tasker, and this, my assistant, a sweet baby boy, little Tommy Bates, who, and this is genuinely true, at the age of 17, shit himself at a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. That, that did happen. Yes, as Tom's humble servant, it is my duty to keep score and keep an eye on the contestants as the tasks unfold. But who are the contestants? Who are they, for God's sake? Well, if you calm down, I'll tell you. It's Duncan Ravs, Lydia and Ben. Hello. 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 Hi. That's me. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> is, that, is that your intro? No, 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 Tom. So this is the first master tasker. The weight of responsibility is upon you for the scoring, the burden of sitting on the throne. It's, 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 it's not the most comfortable position for you to be in, I'm sure. At all, no. So I thought I'd present you with a gift to, to ease that a burden. Gift. A gift. A okay. gift to ease that burden. And I have it right here. I have it right here. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm, uh, my, I am just so ready. <laughs> Behind my golden sheath. Golden what sheath. is that? <laughs> oh! oh! What is this? I don't know if you remember being asked to take this photo. I do not remember being asked <laughs> to take this photo. This is Tom. And I thought, you know, with the, with the throne, you know, you might be able to, you know, cushion your... Although I didn't, although Tom, I didn't want you to sit. You want me to sit on my own face? So I did think about this. I, I thought that. I, I don't want you to sit on your own face. I want you to sit on my face. We are together, <laughs> us two, me and you, bound together. So can I get this correct? Yeah. You are asking me on camera to sit on your face. Yeah, and my mouth's open a little bit, just like, it's for you, it's for you, Tom, sit on my face. Can I win that instead of the trophy? If, oh, if, no, that's just oh, for the master okay. task, oh. I'm sorry. How's it feel? I, <laughs> just got your lips <laughs> the, the chin, the chin, looks the like chin you, poking out. It looks like <laughs> you have your balls out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other way round. Oh, yeah. Just really... It's still, oh, yeah, just give him an eyeful. Okay. <laughs> it looks uh, like you have a massive sack. <laughs> 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 uh, maybe the chin is better. <laughs> so what do you think of my gift? It's, well... More comfy? It's, it is comfortable. Um, who would have thought sitting on your face would be this titillating so early into the show? Now you know. Shall we get on with some tasks, Tom? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see uh, what we have prepared. Well, as the master tasker, you need... You need your cue cards for your notes, right? Of so we did, we did get some cue cards printed. Now cue cards traditionally are landscape, but there was a slight printing error. So they are portrait, I'm sorry. That was a genuine fuck up. Um, there you okay, go. Okay, well you're off to a great start today. Yes, um, I know, I know. I will be keeping notes of this. Uh, great, great work there. Um, is this the first of many mistakes we're gonna have? I hope, we, we'll see, we'll, we'll see. So are you ready, Tom? <laughs> I'm so ready. <laughs> so, on with the tasks. Show and tell! Here we go. Okay, I have. right, already you are going to have to rein that in. You don't, good my portion. energy levels. Keep that down a little bit, although you can keep the foot clap. Can the we have another clap. demonstration of that? Show and tell! <laughs> Is that something you do normally? Because I don't I think I've excited. ever seen that before. I get very excited easily. <laughs> okay, great. I love that you're bringing this new... Uh... My energy's up there, Tom. Uh, for the task. Okay, down like a couple of notches. To a seven. Like a seven. Let's go with a five and then maybe we can bring it back up from there. Show and tell. Is that five? Where's the foot clap? <laughs> that is not a five. Uh, show and tell. <laughs> All right, what we did, Tom, two weeks ago, we asked the contestants to take the most unusual selfie. First up, we have Duncan's selfie. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 What is that? Uh, okay. It's not unusual enough, isn't it? Um, How Are you up a tree? 
No. How you did you take? Bike. How did you take this? <laughs> I don't know where my glasses. That is a <laughs> three sixty like degree <laughs> camera, <laughs> which I'm holding with my right hand on the handlebars, and it's sticking out. And then when you zoom out of a three sixty degree camera, it looks like that. Okay. It looks like you're on your own like It looks like you're on a, a just. I know. It's like a pilot. little tiny bike on a ball. Oh, no. Very nice. I wish Duncan hadn't gone first. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> so next up, next selfie. Young, sweet Ravs. Can I preface mine and say that I, there was a much better one I wanted to have, but you nimbly evaded me, Tom. Oh, really? Uh-huh. But I, I, I did the best with the time I was given. Okay, you are... This isn't you to get you weeks. extra points trying okay. to lower my expectations. <laughs> okay. I'm two judging. Weeks. I mean, Tom, I went into the pits of hell. My selfie is in hell. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I mean, come on. Okay. Uh, the pits of hell itself, Slough. Yep. Okay. It looks a little bit like you're just stood in front of yeah. a sign. So, but what I wanted to do was have Tom lock me in a head scissors and take a selfie from between his legs. <laughs> but he nimbly evaded me in the office. Well, that is not what you had submitted. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to judge this one. That's, that's fair, but the depths of hell. Rav's in front of a sign. Okay. No, the depths <laughs> of hell. Uh, what, is the next, uh, what is the next picture we the have? The next picture is Ben's picture. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> just in a shower. Is that a dildo? <laughs> <laughs> I should probably explain. So yeah, my wife and I, we sometimes try to surprise each other with like movie reference photos. So we started off very innocently. We would um, we were on a boat. And we did the, the Titanic okay. pose, and then um, one day I took it a little too far and recreated the chestburster scene from Alien while she was giving birth. And she didn't like that one. Wow. So she started surprising me in the shower with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a knife. Oh. In revenge. Oh, I thought it's that was- It's reflecting my shower curtain. I, I didn't realize oh, it's, really not, it's not a rainbow knife. So it's I, not a rainbow oh, knife. I thought rainbow. that was like a- Shower mounted dildo. <laughs> 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 you were just getting ready oh, to. Oh, he wow. does just the mouth. <laughs> yeah, you have the mouth uh, ready to I receive. I love how Ben mounts his dildo at mouth height. <laughs> 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 there, there's a little one as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up is Lydia. Here we go. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with your arm? How did they do this? It's just a normal picture. That's just your It's just my arm. arm. It's, just, it's old, old gammy arm. Old, old long limb, I call her. It's just a normal picture. Okay, so you didn't think to, you know, go out of the office or do anything like that? No, I just wanted to keep it casual. Right, yeah. for the most unusual picture of the yeah. competition. Yeah. I'm genuinely curious how you did that photo. <laughs> I used my Photoshop skill to make it. Wow. Yes. It's um, a lot of years of training and hard work has got me to be able to do that. Um, mm. But yeah, I used my skills. To make your arm look smaller? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've decided. Excellent. Uh, 100%. Um, Ravs with a picture of a sign that is going in fourth place for that the one point. That was in hell! The worst uh, place in the world! <laughs> uh, Lydia with her long arm is going to be two. Uh, ben with his dildo surprise <laughs> is three points. And Duncan, that was a genuinely beautiful photograph. Thank and you, Tom. Very unusual. I've never seen a picture like that. So, Ooh. well done. Four points to Duncan. Yay! Well done. Thank you. So the scores are locked in. And by the way, your unusual selfies are now the selfies we're going to use for the entire show. That is your, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is your, oh, that is your portrait. Okay. I'm so glad everyone's decided it's a dildo. Let's <laughs> <laughs> so see how many points we got. Let's reveal the scores. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're the same in me. <laughs> and that's why you have one point. Fair enough. <laughs> there we go. Duncan leading currently. Okay, I'm bored of this chit chat. I want more tasks. Do you want pre recorded tasks, Tom? No, I, we're not doing that voice. No, is that more like the, the, the seven. Like spooky butler? <laughs> Are you ready for more tasks, Tom? No, no, we said no. No, no. I want regular voice, or I'm going to make you talk like a baby. <laughs> okay, so task one, here we go. Welcome, Rav. Please take a seat. Okay, on welcome. On the Master Tasker couch. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hello, sir. 
Oh God, there's not much space, is there, for a long-legged lady? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Very elegant. Hello, hello. How are we doing today? <clears throat> not bad, yeah. Not bad, you? Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay. This is my task. Yes. It looks quite thick. Ah, oh, what have you got for me? Top secret. Oh, la la. Go ahead. There's another envelope in here. Oh, that looks disgusting. We did our best <laughs> at a wax seal. Uh huh. <gasps> Sealed with the finest wax. Or is it? Let's say it's wax. It's got, it's got a wax seal. It does. We've there's been many attempts. <laughs> Who did that? Did they use a 50p? We used a chocolate coin. <laughs> <laughs> Who folded this? Who folded? This is comically large. Jesus Christ. Make the loudest sound with your body. Make the loudest sound <laughs> with your body. Make the loudest sound with your body. You have 10 minutes starting now. Fuck. Okay. You have 10 minutes starting now. With my body. Right. So like running into something that count? Is it like, uh, is it a sound coming out of my body? Am I like screaming at the, the loudest noise I can make? Or am I using my body to touch something else which makes a really loud noise? All the information's on the task. There's no information on the bloody task, Tom. There's nothing there. <laughs> what would Tom do? Give me your wisdom, my bearded one. Make okay. the loudest sound with your body. Make the loudest sound with your body. That is the task. So I think that that's with your body hitting a drum, if that makes a noise. That's not making it with your body, right? That's the drum is making the noise. Interesting. Let's see Duncan's task, shall we? I'm trying to think of what I can run into. <laughs> to make a loud sound. At least half of the impact has to come from my body, is what I'm thinking. Right? Okay. I can't hit something against something else, because I feel like that's the two things hitting that are making the sound. So it has to be me hitting something else. But I'm just trying to think of something loud to hit. A metal filing cabinet, um, <laughs> something like that. So I just run into it, or kick it, I guess. Let's have a go, let's go and kick something. This thing. Why is there a bunch of sex toys under Lewis's desk? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Didn't expect that. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. How's that, how's that loud? I've got my reading. I've got my reading. Mm. Any damage to that? No. Well, a little bit. I reckon I could do it again. What if I do it with a hand and a, and a foot? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Okay. Is that good? Is that better? Yeah, I've got two readings. I've got a couple of readings. Let me just make note of all that. Right. Still closes. All good. Put his, put his sex toys back. Should we leave everyone to, to do their jobs? Yeah, I think, I think that'll do. I'm yeah. happy with that. I think that was pretty loud. Did your body make that sound? Or did the filing cabinet make that sound? It was the, the impact of my body on the filing cabinet made that sound. Interesting. So, also, how was it finding Lewis's secret sex toy collection? I wasn't that surprised. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they are gone now, so I, I'm guessing he's used them all. Okay. You would have thought that you would, like, store them in that drawer so no one would find them. It's a them. power play, isn't it? It just yeah. shows everyone. Um, I did appreciate your gusto of hurting your hand. That to did perform... actually genuinely really hurt. <laughs> to perform this task. <laughs> uh, then you're you going to love mine. <laughs> uh, okay, who made a noise next? The next noisy bugger. <laughs> he's, trying, he's just trying new personalities. I'm trying it out. I'm trying to find my groove. You know, I want to. I want to figure out which character suits suits me. Okay. Next up, we have Lydia. All right. First things first. I'm thinking: Will they let me ring the bells of the church <laughs> nearby? <laughs> what, what have I just burst in and said? I'm a believer. I love Jesus. May I ring these bells? You've got nine minutes. Ah! Oh God, okay. Um, uh, 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 let me think about something which is horrifically loud. What is a really hor horribly loud noise? Does anyone have a car here? Does anyone drive? Does anyone have a car nearby the office though? You have a car near the office? Can I beep your horn or are you gonna get in too much trouble? Yeah? 
Okay, I'm gonna beep his horn. All right, let's do that. Okay. I'm following you. Oh, 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 thank you. Go, go, okay, go, 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 go. We've only got eight and a half minutes. Gloomy. <laughs> I'm panicking. I don't know how to open a door. All right, right, let's go, ah, let's go. Where are we? I don't know where you live. I meant your car. You live in your car. <laughs> Forward. Okay, down here. Okay. Now, I don't drive, so um, I need to work out where the horn is. So I'm guessing it's not. That's an airbag. Wait, what is. Where's the horn? I don't drive. I don't know. Uh, Ow. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, oh, it was that. Okay, but I need it to be louder than that. All right. Okay. Get right right in the sound box, Tom. Where's the sound box? I don't know. <laughs> Where does the loudest noise come from? This is just a practice. Okay, so there. All right, you ready? Three. I'm ready. Two, one. Okay. <laughs> Hooray! I got the reading. <laughs> you just said that you don't you wanted sounds that came out of bodies so i've done a duncan as well and i've used something else to make a sound mm. but mine how much more creative he just fucking kicked a box i went into the open world wide and i beeped a horn which is so creative of oh me. sorry i got confused i thought this was make the loudest sound competition not the most creative sound competition but it was also right louder <laughs> tell me um, tell me a, a beeping horn is not way louder than kicking a fucking but did garbage. you make that with your body yes my body went Ugh. i have to say i loved you like nervous of the airbag well we, uh, <laughs> I very much enjoyed just your bafflement at cars um, have you ever been in a car before as that genuinely seemed like your first time I think my general demeanour in life is just like newborn giraffe I look very uncomfortable with whatever I'm doing okay. I can't really help it let's see what the next person has for us in their loudest sound then let's see Ravs Make the loudest sound of my body. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, does something hit in my body count? Oh God. <coughs> no, no, that's not a good idea. Okay, Tom. Yeah? As part of the show, you have to do what I say, right? Kind of. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm at your disposal, yeah. Okay, try kick me in the balls, but do it so it's one of those ones that I'm not like silently in pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so try and reach the maximum decibel kick. I mean, that fits what's going to fuck my balls up. I, I don't want to literally destroy your testicles. Uh huh. So about there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fuck, my knees are shaking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Legally, I'm, I've been asked to do this. I'm giving permission for Tom to kick me in the balls. Okay, you missed. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my leg. Do you just not want to kick me on the I'm balls? I'm terrified. Okay, we're going to do this. Here we go. <sighs> I don't think that was very loud. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't think my balls can take another hit. Do we have any horns or any instruments in the office that are mouthpieces? You're welcome to go and find some. Fuck. Basement? Basement key? Would there be stuff in the basement? You can have a look. I've never been in the basement. Hi Tom. You alright Rabs? I'm not bad. How are you finding the challenge? I like the bit when you kicked me in the balls. Mm, yeah, I, I like that as well. I didn't yeah. think I'd enjoy it. Yeah. Good. Mm. That's us here? Yeah, this is us. Go on. Oh shit, okay. Alright, stuff, stuff, stuff. Yep, one minute. One minute. Where would we keep like our, our musical instruments? We have those, right? <laughs> that doesn't make a very satisfying. That's that's a pretty good sound, right? Down here. All right, out here, quick, guys. Ten echo, seconds. Echo, echo, echo. I'm using my hands to make a noise. That's it. Time's up. <sighs> What can I say? I love pain. Love that you just first just went straight to kick me in the balls. I just pictured that it would be like, you know, the, the snake dying sound from Metal Gear Solid. Just like the loudest, most <laughs> echoey sound. Once again, sorry, I got confused. I thought this was the loudest sound of your body competition, not get 
kicked in the balls competition. It is, Tom, that is, that is what it is. Right, okay, so yeah, sadly it's not the get kicked in the balls competition. I just thought you may appreciate that. I very much appreciated that, and I okay. will be watching that privately later. <laughs> okay. Um, I like you just did that because you wanted to be kicked in the balls. <laughs> Still not entirely convinced that holding two things in your hand and hitting them together is making a sound well, that with may, your body. Well, that may not have been the highest decibel one anyway, so, uh, you know. But um, we'll see. So who do we have left? Mm, so there has been a pattern of people using their body to hit other things. Mm. Now it's time for a different approach. Ben. It's like a, shouting. Pretty hard to get louder than shouting. Right, we're going to do the big one. I'm going to do some... Okay. Tai Chi, I think, is going to center my yang. Got too much, too much ying in me. Hang on. What's that? How, how loud is that? Uh, we'll, re we'll reveal it uh, at the live show. <laughs> oh. I will make a note, though. Okay. Simple but effective. Uh, you know what? Followed the brief perfectly. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I had high hopes for you, Ben, and you delivered with your... You know, you're a very litigious person when it comes to rules, and I think you, um, you nailed that. Not even one kick in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Not even True. one. So first up, Duncan. Hitting the filing cabinet in the office. 113 decibels. Is that a lot? Which is the same amount as a rock concert. Oh. So it's quite good. Quite loud. Mm. Very loud. Okay, pretty good. Uh, your own little one second rock concert. Nice. Now, car horns in the UK are limited to between 100 and 110 decibels. Shit. And Lydia's car horn was 104 decibels. God damn. Interesting. Mm. Okay. I wonder if it's more the frequency, you know, the, the, the mm. sound is cutting, but the volume may not be at quite a Duncan filing cabinet level. Yeah. Um, yeah. Makes sense. Then we have Ravs. Indeed, we did take your loudest sound, which certainly wasn't being kicked in the balls. <laughs> That's a damn shame. <laughs> what was the loudest sound was the frying pan with the spatula. Mm. And that was... 109 decibels. Oh, not, not bad. Same as a power saw. Okay. Or a symphony orchestra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not quite a rock concert. Uh, yeah, that's so like a symphony orchestra. is like four <laughs> decibels left for the They rock should have me in there with my pan. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, now this is interesting. Ben. Ben's shout was. 119 decibels. Oh, I thought it'd be higher. The thing, the thing is, Tom, the, the loudest shout ever recorded, according to Guinness World Records, is 121 decibels. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. no, just, just to confirm, because we didn't believe this. <laughs> so we, we took a still from, from the footage. And I'd like everyone to just, just <laughs> let's just all together confirm whether this, so in the corner, can you see the reading? Does that, is that, are we reading this correctly? That is a 119, I can see that. Well, okay, You're not it, even it, sticking it in my mouth. Exactly, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. let's, let's enhance the image. Are we, like, that is 119, isn't it? So it turns out Ben is almost a world champion Wait, shout are we on, on, on my first try. Are we, on his <laughs> first go. Are we excited because he didn't beat a record? He is one decibel. <laughs> <laughs> he was very close to beating a record. <laughs> I reckon if I had a second go and ben, got rid of a bit more yang, yeah. I could yeah. probably do it. He's That's one... what they say. If you have <laughs> too yang much yang, yang <laughs> your, your shout isn't going to be as loud. Ben is one decibel away from a thunderclap. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, so Ben, thunderclap Edgar. Uh, I, I want to know, we are so close to breaking that world record. Yeah. Uh, can we set that today? If you can, mm. you will get bonus points. Ooh. Uh, can we get some kind of audio. Let's do it. Let's get the reader in here. We've got the reader. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's go, Ben. I'm going to film this in slow motion just so that we have video confirmation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new Guinness World Record. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> what, the fuck? <laughs> what the shit? 100. <laughs> And 26 decibels. Oh, that's that's some bullshit. Who is going the other way? 
say that that um, was five decimals over the world record. Turns out Ben is the world's loudest man. Uh, well, uh, congratulations. I feel like not many people have entered the world record competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I've decided, but actually, this was made uh, very easy for me because your noises reflect how I feel about your work. Uh, so Lydia is scoring just one point with her very quiet car horn, apparently, mm. which I don't really think she made with her body. Two points uh, to Ravs, although I respect the ball hit. Not even a free, not Sadly, even a free for the balls. Sadly, we didn't get to use that one. We had to use uh, you hitting two things together. He kept the cabinet! <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying I didn't use my body? Bear with me. Uh, so there will be three points to Duncan. Uh, because at least his body connected with the thing, I think that is more than fair. Uh, whereas your two things were hitting against each other. It was also louder, which was the <laughs> yeah. Also, it, just straight up, it was louder. <laughs> Last of all, uh, Ben will get four points Woo! for his 119. Um, but I will give one bonus point <laughs> for our new Guinness World Record holder. Uh, congratulations, everybody. Well done. Ooh. Well deserved. Well it done, ben. I'm going to have to start charging for my shouts now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if this goes. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, wow. Catching up today. Me and Raps trailing behind. Oh yeah, yeah. Hobbling, hobbling. Hobbling behind yeah. with our gammy legs. <laughs> gammy lids hobbling along with a big arm. Uh, okay, great. Task number two. Ooh. Welcome. The task is on the table. Okay, task number two. I'm really feeling a lot more confident now I've done the first one. Hello, hello again. Hello again, sir. Oh, what have we got here then today? A new task. I have top secret clearance. Who would trust me with such a thing? So professional. You guys are getting good at this. What? Have you uh, come on this one? We uh, experimented with wax seals and this, this was a bad experiment. Sorry. Are you sure it's wax? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't open envelopes. There's a problem with our wax seal. It's it's disgusting. <laughs> it's gross. Let's have a look. Get the highest score. You have 30 minutes starting now. The highest score? Highest score at what? You have 30 minutes starting now. What? Okay. Seems a uh, very clear cut, highest score. So for this one, we've actually combined some people together. Okay. So for this first combination, we've got loudest man in the world, Ben. And Gammy Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the highest score might be. So do I go to the highest score? I could get a high score on the fourth floor and then I would, on a game, so I'd be getting a high score and then I'd be getting a score high up because I'm on the fourth floor. What is a game that has millions of points? Oh no. Okay, I will just have to make up my own game. I could like just do like Tetris or something. It's not gonna be a high score though, is it? But it, well, it can be my high score. This is gonna be our table. It's gonna be very slightly higher up okay. than anyone else's table. Look at that. Ah. So if anyone was sat on their phone playing a game or playing a game on this table, mm -hmm. this is immediately higher. And technically, my high score, I could lose now and it would still be my high score. And I've already got a new best because it's the first time I've played it. So I could die at any moment and it would technically be my high score. Well, here we go. Here's, here's the game I've made up. We each take it in turns to underarm mm -hmm. plastic baby. Okay. And every time you get it in the cup, you get one trillion points. We just play for like, First to five trillion. Oh, my time is up, but look at that, new best, new best. It said I had a new best, which is my high score, best score, 2,348. Hey. Two, two trillion to one. Oh, you're catching up. Trillion points. <laughs> so can we then add that on to the height of being fourth, being the fourth floor high, up by four floors, up building. by four floors. Four to two. 
Four three. Okay, so this could be the winner. For this you. could be. This is it. This is potentially the the match point. So I feel like I got the highest score between us. Okay. I hopefully got the highest score of everyone else who did points. You know, and maybe also the highest score. Like it's a triple threat. I think I think Tom will be happy with this. Is Tom happy with this? Well, we are comparing a score of five trillion to two thousand three hundred forty-eight, oh, which is already on. an interesting. Fuck <laughs> off! Um, <laughs> That's not fair. In turn, um, I like how reserved you were that you could make up any number, and you decided just to stick up. Well, we'll only get to five trillion. Well, you know, I didn't want to take the piss. But how many people recognise the scoring of what was your game called? Uh, plastic baby cup game. Plastic baby cup game. Well, at least two people, Tom and me. We play. He he played it. Therefore, endorsed the game. I recognised that it. it existed and played it because okay. I, it, it was a risky game because I could have lost. That's true. And I could have missed all my shots and got zero points. That's true. You had to very carefully <laughs> throw plastic babies into a cup. Exactly. Um, from. <laughs> Quite close. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. A score of five trillion. Very nice. Although you did one up me on the height. I was higher physically. My high score was higher, and also Tetris exists, and it's not just made up. So I think I should get Although, some love for that. Where do you think two thousand uh, three hundred forty-eight really ranks in high scores in Tetris? <laughs> <But it> because <laughs> we already have one world champion revealed today. <laughs> can we? Can we just find out what is the world record on uh, Tetris? But Tom, it's my high score. I have been sent a note. Oh, the highest score in Tetris of all time is. One hundred and two million two hundred and fifty-two nine hundred and twenty. Okay, uh, that is not even five trillion. So, <laughs> uh, right. Well, I want to see what these other people have done and how high their scores can go. Of course. Next up, we have combined Duncan and Ravs. Uh oh. What's the tallest building in Bristol? Uh, okay. Well, there's no use in me googling standing still. Let's walk. What is that tower? I see a tower like it up there. What's the highest place in Bristol? What about that tower in the park? That's pretty high up. Can we get there in 30 minutes? Do you think we can get there in 30 minutes? You've got a car? Well, for a score to happen, it has to be a game, right? Is that the parameter? Yeah, it's on the card. I know it's on the card. Is that all you say? I thought we were closer than this, you know? You kicked me in the balls. So just to confirm, currently, the plan is essentially just get to the highest point and figure it out when we get there. Pretty much. Okay. We're already at a higher point in Bristol than other people yeah. might. I'm not sure we're higher than the top floor of the office that we started on. Shit, oh, why do you have to say that? Okay, so I want to find a really high point in Bristol. The moment I'm thinking of Cabot Tower in Brandon Park. And how are we getting there? Car. Josh's car. Josh's car. That's quite an easy way to get up there, isn't it? Driving. Ah. Uh. I'm so unfit, I'm a streamer, I'm not made for this. Is this it here? The one covered in shit? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Nobody else better do this. In fact, not, I hope they do. I want them to suffer. How big is this hill? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Would you, would you score rock, paper, scissors? That's, you just have to get the highest score. I can make up my own game and score it. You just have to get the highest score. Fuck me. Okay, you've got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes? Okay, we're gonna get tired now. Okay. How do we get to that? Is this way? You have to lead the way. I came prepared. <sighs> Did you bring me one? No. <sighs> okay, we didn't make it to the tower. Is there? That is, we're close. Rock, paper, scissors. Many games as possible. Got like 30 seconds. Million points for the winner. Okay, so my plan is to open up Pokemon, catch one really high up. Okay. Man, it's lovely up here. Million points. Fuck. Let's catch the Psyduck. You've got five minutes left of your timer. All right. I'm changing the game. You can only uh, use Rock. All right. How many points is that? 1,690 points. Okay, four, 
three, two, one. I'd say that's like 10 million points. That's a pretty high score. Well, there we go. Uh, thank you, Ravs. Thank you. I'm going to go cry now. Let's have a lie down and uh, finish my drink with this lovely view, and then we'll head back to the office. Great stuff. I can't believe you went to the same tower as me. You didn't even make it. You were I, just I, you were right there. I was on foot. I didn't have the time to get <laughs> up there. How much do you regret not taking the car? So much. I didn't know that was an option at the time. I walked up Park Street. I was sweating. I was dying. I had to take like <laughs> five breaks, but they could only be like one minute breaks because I only had <laughs> half an hour. The worst experience of my life. And you, Walking. And then you got there and I thought, the towers. I didn't there. have time to get to the tower. I had Tom was like one minute. I was like, oh fuck, let's right. go. But you know, catching a Pokemon is that a score? Well, is that now, a score? I would. I've got the lowest point score, but I have the highest score. That's what I'm thinking. I Allegedly, was, I was the highest yeah. up. And on your way up there, you didn't think to bring uh, my little assistant a drink. I assumed he brought his own. He didn't get me one, Tom. Mm. Why didn't you bring your own? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Why are you so coy about that? I forgot. Well, this is how we have to decide it because five trillion points is definitely the highest score um, of Plastic Cup Baby Game. It definitely beats the 10 million which you had assigned your own points to Rav's rock, paper, scissors. No, it's Rav's paper, scissors, actually. <laughs> Rav's paper, scissors. Yeah. But he could only do rock. Yep, those were the rules of the game. The rules did change through the game, but maybe the rules of the game are that the rules change. Yes, that is obviously on turn three when I get beaten, the rules change. So taking into account the height of the office, mm -hmm. the height of Ben's game to the lip of the mug is 15.07 metres plus three inches. Oh. <laughs> Don't mix. Nice, yeah. No, I like that. Uh, <laughs> Metric and Imperial. Yes. Big fan. The height of Lydia's is 16.32. I think we all predicted it would be higher than Ben's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the height of the hill on which Duncan and Ravs went up is certainly higher than the office. Mm. By quite a distance. Quite a distance. Are you interested in this character, Tom? Uh, <laughs> yes. Speak like this until I say no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, really? Yeah, that's what we're doing for the rest of this bit. Okay. If you want to do these funny voices, I'm going to make you do these funny voices. All right. Here we go. Rabs is height. Okay, we're done. We're yeah, done. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> is 63 meters. Ooh, wow. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty respectable. And Duncan's height is 74.5 meters. So Duncan has the lowest actual score, the highest elevation. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Is this so a my highest my, elevation challenge. My idea was it doesn't matter what the number of score is, I got the score the highest. I was the highest score. No, I, I, I respect your interpretation of highest. Um, I think very good. I'm going to award three points to both Duncan and Ben and two points to Ravs and Lydia. That is my choice. Mm. Okay. I climbed the fucking hell on foot. <laughs> You've been kicked in the balls. You climbed up a mountain. I've been suffered for this show. I went to slow. And he's <laughs> okay, so where does that leave us with scores? Ta-da! <gasps> well, look at that. Ooh. Wow. Ben and Duncan very close there, and Lydia and Ravs joint yeah. at the bottom. Okay, great. Um, are we done? Are you ready for more tasks, Mr. Master Tasker? Uh, I would love. I would love another task. Wonderful, because we got him. It's time for task number three. No envelope. What is up? I'll just take a seat. All right. Hi, Tom. Where's the other Tom? Task is in here. Yeah. Okay. Where is it? Oh my God, is this like a hide and seek? Fun time. Are you hiding it, Tom? Are you? Is Tom, is Tom in here? Tom's in here! Fucking hell. <laughs> <sighs> 
Oh, oh my god. Task. Uh, oh. Are you gonna stay in there? No? Okay. Okay, no. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, Tom. Hello. How you doing? Good. <laughs> da 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 da. Hello. Hey, ben. That's your task. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you later. Make this piece of paper travel the furthest. You have 10 minutes starting now. I'm gonna start the timer. <laughs> okay. 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 Are you proud of yourself? Do you Very enjoy proud. that? Enjoy that little little surprise. I'm dreading this Spaces suit me. What can I say? I don't know why I'm so coy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. So take that piece of paper. Make this piece of paper travel the furthest. I dread this one. Me too. I am dreading this one. I hope Ben's uh, done badly. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, should we see Ben first? Uh, I would love, love to see Ben first. Let's see how Ben got on. Can I go get, get a bus? Can I stick out on a bus? The rules are on the card. <laughs> the rules are, okay, thanks Tom. I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go get a bus. Come on, Tom, you gotta help me get a bus. Get, stop, stop lying around, okay. fucking hell. I've only got 10 minutes. Bus. <laughs> so here's my plan. I'm gonna get a bus, yeah. get on the bus, pay for it, sit on the back, tuck this away as tightly as I can, like under a seat, mm -hmm. come, come, and then just be like, oh, I forgot something, I've got to come off the bus. And knowing Bristol buses, they don't get clean very often. So that could be driving around for weeks, months, or years, clocking up thousands of miles okay. of okay. distance traveled. Let's go over, let's go to that 44. I can have a single, please. <laughs> Are we going to have to chase this bus? All right, so Ben's on the bus. Um, I, I think we're going to have to try and follow the bus. <laughs> Does anyone know where it goes? Nope. So we, we lost Ben. Um, back to the studio, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can you even score this? <laughs> I, I did come back. <laughs> so just just as an intro, so people have some context. This Y represents the office. The office is here on Queen Square, so that can go there. That is our starting position. Excellent. Now Ben got on the bus, and with Ben's logic, right? We did some some calculations, right? So. The number 44, which was the bus that Ben got on, that does 7.2 kilometers. That, that, their route is 7.2 kilometers each way. So it does there and back 7.2 kilometers each way. And it does that 20 times a day. So that's for a potential 288,000 meters per day. And then the time in between the day we shot and now was four months. So Ben has the potential of 35 million meters for this piece of paper traveled. However, there is a 10 minute timer. So Ben actually got here. <laughs> okay. uh, that's where he made it in the 10 minutes. Would you like to see Ben's evidence of him tucking it under the seat? Uh, yeah, I, w I do need proof because for all we know, that came back in his pocket. Exactly. And... So let's, let's just see the evidence, shall we? Great, great evidence. There it is. Where is it? It's never going to be found. Oh, it's t all right, I see. It's so deep in that crevice. I tucked it in so deep. In there? Down. That bit, that the hole. deep dark. The that, hole. That, that where your finger is. That bit, down, down, down. That, that bit. That oh, bit. that bit. No, up. This is just a that. photo of a seat. <laughs> exactly. That. That's how well hidden it is. That was the like paper is slotted right in there. But you can't see ben, the that paper. Was like That's my point. So it's never going to be taken out. Fallen down the same. It's in there. Uh, what I've done is I've left it for someone else. Someone else will one day be fiddling around in that hole. Oh, they'll pull it out and they'll be like, oh, secret mission, side quest. <laughs> secret <laughs> quest. <laughs> wow, the gift that keeps on giving. That would be amazing to find. <laughs> uh, can we see the next attempt? But of course we can, Tom. Duncan, please. <laughs> oh no. My first thought is a paper airplane. I've got 10 minutes, it's not long. The time has started. The time has started. Well, let's. Let's make a paper airplane first and see what happens. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw out a window. Nine minutes. Oh my god! Uh, no! Okay. Got an airplane. Right, can we get to the roof? We can certainly try. Okay, let's throw it off the roof and Go see ahead. how far it goes. Is it this way, the roof? Down here, in here, Dunk. This way? Okay. Go in there. No one's in there. There's no stairs in here. 
Oh, is it up there? Oh, fuck yeah. It's an attic. I didn't know this was here. So this, oh, I go out here. It's working. It's a oh. skylight. I've got to climb out of this. I haven't done this before either. Jesus Christ. Fuck it out. Okay. <laughs> I kind of feel like if I had just taken it and run, it would have traveled further. Maybe, we have used half the time trying to figure out how to get on the roof. <laughs> um, okay, what do you reckon? Just just go for it? I mean, it's your call, it's your task. Oh, you're going up high. Okay, just be safe. I'm here for you. I really want, if I can get it over that roof, I reckon it would go pretty far and it would go into the river. And then yeah. it might just sail down river to the sea. It quite possibly Although could. that is a canal, so probably not. Wait for the wind to like drop. And then I'm gonna go, okay, this is it, this is it. Okay, here we go. Oh no! Oh, oh, yeah. On the plus side, yeah. it is on the van. So if that leaves anytime soon. Uh, we've got two and a half minutes if you did want to carry on. Or uh, is that it? I don't think I'm going to get down there in two and a half minutes. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, I love that. It's so so, I feel so much better. <laughs> I really thought it was going to go over that roof. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think you summed that up pretty nicely at the end. Just shit. <laughs> I don't think you can fit my face we'll, on We'll there. try and squeeze you in <laughs> here, under the, under the Y. You're tucked in as close as you can get. There we go. There was a great existential crisis that you had when you made it onto the roof, when you suddenly realised, oh, I think I could have just, uh, yeah. just run further with it. Yeah. Are you good at making paper aeroplanes normally? I'm not too bad, but that paper is weird because it's, it's an A3 with an A4 stuck to it. And I don't think that helped. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're blaming the, the tools yeah, that you I were think given. Otherwise it would have just gone forever. Okay. Uh, bring on the next contestant. Raps! Make this piece of paper travel the furthest. You have 10 minutes starting now. Okay, guys, we're going outside. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I've learnt my mistake from the last time. Stay hydrated. Let's go. <laughs> it might take like 10 minutes for an Uber to arrive so i can't do that but we're not going uphill because that's sore so we'll go this way this time i guess wait no distance from the office diagonal just had an idea yeah we just we just passed a cycle path i was gonna go to that boat but if i can grab a cyclist coming this way i convince them to take my piece of paper and then just book it that may be a plan excuse me Excuse me, could you take this piece of paper and just cycle? I'm sorry, mate. I'm oh, crap. <laughs> crap. Oh, bother. What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. We're screwed. There's nobody coming this way, I don't think. Bam. It's as far as I can get it. I had immediate such high hopes of you coming out of that saying, we've learned from last time and I assumed that you were going to hop in a car or something. But no, hydration. Well, <laughs> ten, was... 10 minutes, you know, like, there's not enough time to even get to the car. It was, the car was already, like, a couple of minutes away. Okay. You know, I, I, I debated throwing it into a boat that was going by, but, you know, I thought that that might just be littering. So oh. I was just praying for, like, a, a car or a, someone on a bike. Uh, so are you proud proud of your uh... no I, this is where the one i think i did the worst but now that i've seen duncan <laughs> i don't feel so bad you know I, oh. I feel a bit better now i think i might be maybe equidistant to it ben may be a bit further well than let's me. see ravs ended up here oh ben's a bit further than me then debatable how much further do you think uh, you could have got on it if that cyclist had have helped you instead of just I think Just waving you off. Technically, it would be off the board right now. Wow! Because look where I am, and that's the way the cyclist was heading. Mm, it does immediately hit the river. Um, well, <laughs> this guy was uh, dressed for the water. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was in yeah. Scuba gear. Okay. Uh, so who's left? Who do we have? Finally, we have Lydia. I mean, it's a really obvious one. I'm sure someone's already done this though. Go to the train station, get on a train, and just sit on the train. For 10 minutes. Well, you wouldn't only add 10 minutes, you'd have to leave like now. No, wait, you wouldn't get to the train station in time. It'd take longer than 10 minutes to get to the train station. Or you just get an Uber and just put somewhere 10 minutes away and just put it on the map. I want you to get into an Uber and take this as far as 10 minutes to driving an Uber will get you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. So you're going to stay here. I'm just going to stay here. I'm going to chill. Okay. I don't have to do anything. All right, I'll take the task. Get as far as you can, Tom. 
Godspeed. You, you relax, I guess. I will. I will. See ya. Let's go and do Lydia's task. Bye. Bye. I don't know why I didn't just do this for all of them. I just make Tom yeah. do them. All right, so we have, we have about eight minutes for me to get the paper as far as I can in the Uber. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. Do you want to come? Yes, sir. Come with okay. Me. So the Uber's six minutes away and we have seven minutes. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> to do this. I don't know how far we're going to realistically get. I do like quite a milky tea. I also have one sugar. Because I personally think that plain tea tastes like arse holes. Yeah. And trust me, I know what an arsehole tastes like. <laughs> Alright, so we're down to five minutes fifty on the task and the Uber is six minutes away. I don't know if we're actually gonna get in the Uber before the task is over. Okay, so I'm pouring in some milk like so, making it quite milky. This will probably disgust a lot of people. Got four and a half minutes. So I think when Simpsons is good, when it was good, Homer is undeniably the funniest character. So we've got, we've got two, two minutes left on the timer and two minutes on the Uber. So we'll see what happens. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh, we both did. Rock, paper, scissors, go. We both rock. Rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh. We've actually used um, nine minutes and 30 seconds waiting for the Uber and he's, he's pulling up now. Um, So I managed to get my belt on. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, you did that uh, just in time. Um, so I think you made a bit of an error of trusting, trusting you this boy. You lied to me. When you came back, you were like, I got to the bridge. I said we set our destination as the bridge. Oh shit, yeah, <laughs> so you're I right. I tell you anything else. Oh, it's true. So how far, I guess I didn't get far at all. Should we see how far Lydia got? I am very curious oh. uh, to see how far Lydia made it in this task. So she asked us to set a distance of 10 minutes away, which was the Clifton Suspension Bridge, which if that was on here, it would be... Whew, oh, yeah, here. miles up there. Here. But unfortunately, she made it here. <laughs> no. Outside of Green Square. No. Um, slightly further than Duncan, but not by much. Yeah. I thought you went to the bridge. I was watching theirs being like, these fucking losers. Okay, just how heartbreaking was it watching that video? So, so destroying. I was so cocky throughout all of that. Well, if you trust Tom to do your challenge for you, he's going to do a terrible yeah, job. You did fuck it, Tom. Measurements. I want to know precise measurements. Precise measurements. So we'll start with Duncan. Mm -hmm. Duncan went up to the roof. Okay, so the height from the roof is 19.98 meters to the floor. Where Duncan threw it to the floor. However, it landed on a transit van. That's true. So that's, you have to minus 2.4 <laughs> meters from of, the total. Of course. Of course. So it's 17.58 meters is what Duncan got. Right. Okay. Could be worse. Lydia. <laughs> Don't ever get. Lydia made it here. Could have stayed in the roof. <laughs> As the crow flies, 98.41 meters. Oh. That's how far Lydia got. That's further than me. So now we have the two contenders, Ravs and Ben. Mm. Ravs Damn. made it 391.48 meters. Pretty good. It's quite a few meters. Quite a few, that's many meters. Ben didn't make it 35 million meters. <laughs> so close. <laughs> he was so close, but he made it 482.81. Wow. 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 Well done, Ben. Mine is the only paper still potentially travelling to this day. You've got to let that go, Ben. Mine's on that it's van. It's still going. That go. it's it's over. Over. Who knows where that van went, Ben? <laughs> it's very true. Uh, both could still be travelling <laughs> forever. If there's anyone in Bristol on the 44, a little tickle under that seat. <laughs> see if you can find it. See if you can find the missing piece of paper. I want that to come back. I want uh, them to post it back to us if someone finds Master it. Master Tasker does not endorse the idea of on buses having a little tickle under the seat. <laughs> uh, so I think this is pretty clear cut. Um, we have uh, Duncan's terrible attempt. Thank you. Uh, you will be in last place with one. Um, that was literally 
Um, I'm taking notes on what all of you guys are doing, and all I have written for you is just terrible and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so oh, you, you discovered that we had a roof. <laughs> so uh, you will be in uh, last place yeah. uh, with just one point. Um, Lydia in third with two. Uh, then Bravs um, coming up next um, with three points, and Ben in the lead again uh, with four points. Good oh, job. Damn. Smashing it. He's smashing it. Let's see what that's done to the score, shall we? Long last place anymore, motherfucker! Oh, <laughs> oh, God. So, do you have another task for me, boy? Oh, boy, do we! Let's roll the task! There's a box here. There is. Alright. It's an egg. It's an egg. Egg. This is an actual egg. What am I going to have to do with this egg? Oh, this has seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> this cum has gone off. It's like yellow. Oh, God. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get this egg as high as possible without breaking it. You have 30 minutes starting now. You have 30 minutes starting now. <sighs> Not again. <laughs> <laughs> This seems very, very clean cut. Mm. Um, how can you possibly misinterpret this one? How could you possibly? First up, we have Rafts. Get this egg as high as possible without breaking it. You have 30 minutes starting now. You know where we're going, right? <laughs> <laughs> I went from my previous mistake and we are not walking there. You've got a car, right? You good, you good to drive? Okay, good. You need to drive careful though, because I'm taking very fragile cargo. We cannot break this egg. Are we away? Yeah. We're away. The door's not shut. Fucking hell. Shut the door. Come on, guys. All right, okay, nice. thank you. How long have I got left? Uh, yeah, about 14 minutes. Oh my God, it looks so ominous from here. Like, I know we just took the lazy route of driving, but like, it was, it was so much hell. What's the ETA on climbing this tower? It might say on the bottom. It might give you an estimate of how long it should take. Oh my fucking god, the door's shut. It's got like a, a security perspex shield. Dear god. You've got you've got five minutes to get into this town. <laughs> it's locked. I'm trying the other side. Erected. Nice. No. Fuck. That was the only door. Fuck! I mean, we're pretty high. Oh. Don't really want to stand up, so this is as high as I can get this egg. Erected. <laughs> Erected. Nice. Yeah. Oh, um, amazing. Um, so. Quite might like that one. The third task finally, finally decides to hop in a car. Yep. I went from my mistakes. I was not walking up that hell again. But did you take hydration with you? Your lesson you learned on the previous challenge. I actually did, but there's no footage of me going. <laughs> okay. Very good. Um, okay. So, you know, kind of re retreading old ground, but. Yeah. And I was so terrified that I was like going to fall to my death standing up at the top of that tower because it was just like a sheer drop. It was a very steep drop so, off the like, side. So, like, I was very brave, Is that the one Tom? I was sitting on <laughs> Very last time? brave. I was very brave. Duncan hung his so legs over it, but... So was this the who can be the bravest challenge? Oh, no, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't well, that well, Wasn't that in the fame print? N no. I just had to check, you know, you, 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 ne you never know. You never know mm -hmm. uh, if they've managed to sneak in some extra mm -hmm. rules into these challenges. Well, I, I may have the world record for being the bravest man. <laughs> that, that could be true. <laughs> could be true. Um, do we have a device that measures bravery? You are that device, Tom. Um, then I, I would say very not very brave. You were less brave than me in the first task when I had my legs over it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so already. I might be the world's most cowardly man. <laughs> okay, we, could, we could have that. Next up we have Lydia. It doesn't say I can't break it. All the information's say... on the test. Where's it gone? Oh wait, it literally says without breaking it. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Maybe I should just shoot my shot and chuck this egg up into the air, wrapped in something soft and tender. Oh, oh, I could boil it. How do, is there a saucepan? Uh, what we do have is an instant boil tap. Right. Okay. 
Right, she's looking great. I mean, I could put it in the microwave. Well, that might, that might explode. Eggs explode in the microwave. Okay, just talk us through what you did. 30 so, seconds. Okay. Everyone, shield your eyes. Have you ever put just a whole egg in the microwave before? No. No, no, we'll never, never. <laughs> Continue. How are you going to test if it is boiled? I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Please don't hurt yourself. <laughs> It's definitely more solid, I think. I, I don't hear slushing, but I think she's soft boiled. So what's the plan now? You're gonna put it in soft stuff? Yes. Okay, let's start with this. This is a great start. <laughs> what can her name be? So I'm really attached if she does die. Matilda. Matilda. Little baby Matilda. I think this will work. Let's do a test. Ah! I mean, that felt great. Yeah. I think she'll be okay. <laughs> I'm going to chuck Matilda as high as possible yeah. and you're going to catch her so she doesn't die. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Three. Oh God, I thought you were going there. Two. Okay. <laughs> One. Yes! <Yeah! laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where is that? Did you see how high she went? <laughs> Don't die, Tom. I'm going to use my phone to, as a periscope. Okay. There it is. I just, I, I, it's slightly out of my reach. Be careful, Luke. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yay, thank you. Oh God. It feels warm, almost like her insides may have dribbled out. Here we go, the moment of truth. Ah, wait. She lives. That's a whole egg. Unbroken, really, Yay. really hot, really hot, yeah, unbroken. She, she is boiling. Smart. How are your words to like do anything? <laughs> <laughs> well, I break things. Like watching you like pouring the water over yourself, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> terrified. <laughs> have you ever boiled an egg before? I, they didn't have a saucepan, Thomas. What am I supposed to do? I had to use my brain to work a way around it with the hot, the hot water. With tap. the hot water, which wasn't that hot. Well, it's <laughs> boiling water because that's you do cups of tea and stuff in there, don't mm. you? And then I took it one step further with the microwave, which I was sure she was going to explode, but somehow. Uh, at what point did the egg kind of take on the Matilda? Personality? Um, I just like to name everything in my life. I like to give it a name because I feel more attached to it. And I thought if she died, I wanted to be really distraught. Um, and Tej suggested Matilda. So um, I, just, I loved my little stinky daughter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> excellent. Um, very good. Um, excellent. Can I see some more people? Of but... course. Are we ready? It's time for Big Boy Ben. <gasps> okay. Well, first job protect the egg. I will now die for this egg. Can't risk it. Can't risk it. Getting bopped about in there. Okay, well, just in case no one thought of it, this is like my minimum of that. I've got it that high, right? As a safety net in case we mess this up at this point. Right, we better go on the road, guys. I can't just sit here and think about high places. Let's get out there and look with our peepers. Could I show this egg at such a good time that it has, it's, it's like a, you know, it's like on a personal high. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh my God, Tom, we've got it. That looks higher than that tower, doesn't That's, it? It's quite high. And this is double whammy. It's yeah. high and, you know, you can have the time of your life on that thing. <laughs> you can have a sugar high too. Ah. Mm. Oh. There's literally nowhere higher than this. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> uh, I love that you still eat ice creams in the exact same way. Cool. Um, just like a hungry psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, does a sugar high count? Well, that is the question, Does Tom? high on life count? Get this egg the highest without Checking breaking all the boxes. It. I feel like we might just be using <laughs> the height of the ferris wheel this time as... It's giving I, you options, you know? I feel like the others are maybe a little bit of a stretch. Um, but, you know, it was, it was nice. You left the room, which is great. Um, that's always a good, a good start to a challenge. <laughs> well, speaking of a stretch, shall we see Duncan? <clears throat> as high as possible without breaking it. Well, I don't want to go back to Cabot Tower, that's too far. <laughs> um, or the roof. <laughs> I've kind of done high every task so far. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's let's art it. Let's make it into like a stone egg. All right, let's start by drawing some kind of face on this thing. Oh yeah, it looks high, right? Let's let it dry for a minute, and we'll make let's make a joint. Can we, give, like, we can make like a video at the end. It'll be like we'll get some smoke, and we'll just have like me voicing over him, like, dude. Let's give him a tattoo of a, of a weed leaf. It's, it's gonna be a back of the head tattoo. Oh, fucking do. Looks right. It's like, you, you recognize that, right? It's a green maple leaf. <laughs> Fuck it. I think that's it. I think he's he's pretty much ready to go. You happy with that? Yeah. It's a pretty sexy hat. <laughs> it looks like a nun. <laughs> so if we get the camera over here, pointing this way, maybe we'll... Can we move this light, maybe? We can do whatever you want. Can we get a bit higher? You can see his smile. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do the special effects with my vape. Have we got a light? Maybe I could light at the end of his spliff. Okay, so it's on fire. Oh, dude, I'm the highest egg in the whole world, man. <laughs> <laughs> That it's is pretty great. high egg. That is great. Uh, he literally I, said, I'm the highest egg in the whole world. I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> Up until the last five seconds where I think I might think that's the winner. <laughs> and also, did any of your eggs say, I'm the highest egg in the world? <laughs> it's pretty high. Pretty um, high. Okay. Uh, Sorry, can I just interrupt a second? Sorry to interrupt. So I would never dare to interrupt. This is very, very crucial to the task. Do you understand how difficult it is to... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry? <laughs> just the... That was a great, great flinch. I'm glad that I'm having this effect on you now. Um, very effective. Do you understand how difficult it is to completely fairly judge these tasks? That is what I'm all about. I understand that. Fair judging. I understand that. This... Trying to work out these points. I understand, and sir. And you keep interrupting me. Yes, my captain, yes. I understand. There is a bit of crucial stuff I need to air out. Okay. Duncan, is there anything you'd like to tell us? No. Um, can I just play the next clip, please? <laughs> All right. Oh! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> the egg was fine. Yeah. The egg was fine. If yeah. only we'd kept the cameras rolling. Can we please play the next clip? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, Duncan's just finished the egg challenge. So we're going to inspect the egg. Because he did drop it at a certain point. Oh, fuck. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Is there anything else, Dunk? No. All good, ma'am? All good. Cool. Cheers. Lovely. Cheers. All right. See you, dude. That was close. We almost got caught. Okay, we're gonna inspect the egg. Dav, keep an eye at the door and let me know if he's coming. So I don't know if you can see. So Duncan did drop the egg and on closer inspection, there is a hairline crack there. So really it looks just like a very small crack. Mm. Yeah, not broken, not broken. We also have clearer photo evidence if you'd like to see that. We can I, bring up the photo evidence. I feel like um, you have built this gigantic legal case. Um, you seem very proud of yourself. I'm very proud. And um, you seem very suspicious in that video. Um, like sorry? Who practices getting people to, uh, you know, guard the door for him as you're sneaking around I inside? Take, as your assistant, I take these tasks very seriously. And this is all for you, my king. Okay, I like that. So, uh, <laughs> give me your next bit of evidence. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's broken. definitely... Broken. That's broken. Look it's not broken. broken. It's definitely a broken egg. It's if you were buying egg. eggs in the supermarket, would you buy that egg or would you put it back I would say that egg box? is cracked, I wouldn't say it's broken. Broken, broken is cracked. What does broken mean? It means it doesn't work as it is intended. The it NHS still works defines a egg. fracture or a crack in a bone as a broken bone. If we were to take these three eggs and then this egg with a crack in it and to say, if you had to choose out of all four eggs, which was the most broken egg, you would say this one. It, the challenge was to complete it without breaking the egg. Without breaking the egg. 
Um, I believe that means that you will be scoring zero points. Ooh, that oh. egg is not broken. Being disqualified. The definition of broken <laughs> is no <laughs> longer the, is fit for purpose. The that egg, egg is still fit for purpose. I was going to award you maximum points for your highest egg, which I loved, but I am going to rule that it is broken. Zero if, if points. That's what you think. Disqualified. Damn. 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 Uh, okay. Oof. How are the points to the other ones. Next we have Ben. The height of the Ferris wheel is 35 metres. Matilda, <laughs> she flew 19.2 metres. And Ravs got 76 metres. Mm. Hell yeah, let's go. Well done. Matt, well done. Well done. Good job. You didn't even have to suffer for it. I know. <laughs> you get kicked in the crotch. Comes a little bit. Oh, a tiny bit. <laughs> Can you tell me what this has done to the scores? I can tell you, Tom, scores, please. <gasps> oh. You've overtaken me. Oh. 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 Wait, what? 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 <laughs> 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 okay. Amazing. Uh, so this has catapulted Ben Ooh. far wow. into the lead. Uh, but all to play for um, in the last few positions. We have... A bonus round. Ooh. Okay. Live here in the flesh today, you are not prepared. <laughs> the bonus task involves a single balloon. I will hand each of you a Master Tasker printed por portrait cue card. Yeah, we uh, sadly didn't have any of the landscape ones. Did we, we? we didn't, we didn't. Uh, that was a printing error, not my problem. That wasn't my fault, that wasn't my fault. So who's, wait, whose fault was that? It's not my fault, Tom, it was the printing company. I... It's not very honorable, just deferring blame, is it? It was all my fault. <laughs> Good, <laughs> so continue. Each contestant will be handed a portrait cue card my fault. And they will use this <laughs> to signal me and Tom. This balloon will be inflated. The contestant who signals the closest to before the balloon pops wins. Ooh. Okay. okay. Oh God. Originally, this was gonna be inflated by a helium tank. But Tom has requested that I blow this balloon up myself so that it pops in my face. Oh, God. <laughs> that was the one reason why I would even do this. Because <laughs> I wanted the balloon to pop in his face. <laughs> How many points do we get? Like, do I have a chance of coming third or first, per chance? Yeah. Um, if you signal after the balloon pops, zero points. Mm -hmm. But from that point on, uh, anyone who signals before, yeah, I'll give you the appropriate amount of points. Shit ton of points. Okay, cool. Okay. First place. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, let's do it. Contestants, I will hand you your signaling cards. How do we do it? Thank you. Oh, it's like uh, auction. It's an auction, so you must raise it clearly signaling. Right. Okay. Should we see the scores? Show me the scores. Okay. There we have it. Ben is in the lead. Ravs is second. Duncan third. Lydia bringing up the rear. It's all to play for here, as I inflate this balloon until it bursts in my face. I Blow it! cannot wait. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. Oh. I think he's going to slow down the closer it gets. Just a little tiny breath. Because he's not going to want to put it okay. Once your card is up, it can't be lowered again. Oh, oh. oh God. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. It's getting really big. Come on, come on, explode. How big's this fucking balloon? 
Oh my god! I am oh, fucked shit. up here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! I'm going up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> It's enormous! <laughs> It'll be really hard to get the air in at this point. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, holy shit! Jesus! We didn't even need to pop it because we were all up already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, Tom. Uh, uh, excellent. Oh, excellent work. How many oh, tears? God, that was so that. loud! Jesus! <laughs> so loud. Uh, okay, well. Um, Rav's put his uh, sign up first, so one point to him, two points to Lydia, three points to Duncan, and four points to Ben. Well done, ben. Holding out the longest. <sighs> Congratulations. Uh, Jesus. Okay, let's see the final scores. <gasps> Shit. Oh. Oh. Pretty close down there. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> 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 that was very Oh wow, well done then. You motherfucker. Well done. So I guess to our very humble uh, leader. As I said before, I am the best. <laughs> <laughs> I am the best. Uh, uh, the award of the Golden Trophy goes. Oh, put my A game for this. Finally. Oh, where is it? <laughs> yeah, put it on. Hey. Oh. He likes that trophy. Oh. Oh wow! That is wow. beautiful. It's too low. Over your moustache. Oh, it's in the moustache as well. Yeah. Right. There we go. Oh wow! That is gorgeous. It suits you actually. Glad, yeah. That's quite the look. There we go, Ben. Well done, Ben. <laughs> and so that is it. This concludes the very first episode of Legally Distinct Master Tasker. Thank you to the members for funding this video. Without their support, we couldn't have done this. I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye.